hi and welcome back to my channel i am diamond 76 and as you can see for today's video i am going to be doing a louis vuitton unboxing and if you want to see what i got please continue to watch okay um for today's video like i said i am going to be doing a louis vuitton unboxing and let me see if I can get the, I can't get the receipt out. Now, I have already looked at this. Um, and I took the ribbon off. What I, I had started recording and then you know how it is. We have to stop, then delete, and then start all over again. So that's, that's the reason why I was not going to go back through putting the ribbon back on here. And here is uh, my receipt right here. I'm not going to show you the receipt, um, but that is it right there. Now, what I did was for this uh, purchase right here, we uh, went to the Saks Fifth Avenue at Phipps Plaza um, on Peachtree uh, Road um, in Atlanta, Georgia okay and um let me go ahead and get this ready for you to see now as i'm showing you this bag i'm going to be giving you the dimensions and everything once i show you the bag i have my phone right here behind me um i did do some research on this bag and i did look up um you know any reviews that would have been on YouTube but it's not a lot of reviews on YouTube on this bag and I'm going to say this really quickly um I I know that I have a lot of beautiful um ladies that are on my channel or subscribe to my channel or my friends subscribe to my channel um that do love handbags now I'm going to say this um you know, I, I, well, let me go ahead and show you the, um, let me show you the bag and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the bag right here. And, okay, I hope that doesn't fall. But let me go ahead and show you what I had gotten. Okay, this bag right here is the Kensington Tote okay and when i first saw this bag um i looked at another bag and then another bag and then i wind up coming back to this one and i really 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 like this handbag and it just it just spoke to me now with this handbag right here the kensington tote um it does have snaps on the side of the bag where you can unsnap it on each side of the bag if you choose to want to flare um well it's not going to flare out that much but if you needed a little bit more room but basically it's going to hold its shape the way that it is now as you can see it is in the dummier of bean print okay and i think a lot of you know that i really do like dummier of bean and with this handbag right here let me sit it right here for a second let me read you the uh dimensions on this bag now in length this bag is 13.4 in height the bag is uh 10.2 and the width of the bag here to here is 5.1 now with this bag right here it is a dummier coated canvas as you as you already know it is a smooth cowhide leather trim and it does have the microfiber lining on the inside of it and as you can see it does have a divider on the inside of the bag as well now the reason why i just said what i said is because um it does have a middle section right here that you know that you can unzip and the pocket is about it's about this long i'm not sure if you can see it but my arm it, it stops right here at my arm now the, the reason why i said what i also said is because um it does have a middle section like i said but 
it's not attached at the bottom and I know that may be you know a lot of issues for a lot of my uh, my beautiful ladies that love handbags that may not like this section right here so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that to you and that it is not attached at the bottom but I don't see where I would have any issues or any problems with it and I know that a lot of my um, beautiful hand handbag uh, handbag ladies you do just like to have the you know the uh, middle section just not in there completely but um, and I thought about that but it's not it you know it's not bothering me so far um, because basically my ink pens or anything that I put in here are going to be in their own separate uh, pouches small pouches no I'm not gonna have have it over packed or anything like that now with this right here let me finish giving you the dimensions it has the two Tauron handles, which are these handles right here. And they do not fold down, as you can see. They just stay up like that. Okay. And it has a removable shoulder strap, which is, which is right here. Okay. And it's not that long, but it's long enough and comfortable. Enough. Now... If you wanted to put this on your uh, on your arm or your shoulder your shoulder you can't do that um, unless your arms are really really small and mine's are small and I can't do it but that's okay because I do have the strap right here and majority of the time I carry my bags like this or either I carry my bags like this okay and okay it has a um, snap hook closure um, it has a central large uh, zip pocket which is on the inside as I've already said and it has a decorative metal V a signature V right here on the front of the bag and it has four protective uh, studs on the bottom so it does have feet on the bottom of it as you can see and that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable so when I get ready to put my bag down it has feet on it now it does have the Louis Vuitton on the studs on the bottom okay and what else do I want to say well like I said I think this is going to be the perfect size for me and for what I'm going to use it for. Now it has the rings right here where you can attach the, uh, attach the strap. Let me see if I can do that with my nails on. Let me see. And see, that's the reason. Okay, we love our nails, but it's hard to deal with sometimes okay and let me attach it to the back now how the rings are located on the bag is like this as you can see front and back and if you don't want to you don't have to carry the uh you don't have to have the strap but i would prefer to have the strap on this bag so when i do carry it my strap is going to hang like this me personally if I needed to sit it down I will move my strap like that and just sit it down but like I said I think that it is the perfect perfect size for me I like the room um, that is inside of the bag uh, to me it's more than what I need it's more than enough I like the handles because of the simple fact is that me personally um, I would love to have a bag with Viketa uh, leather on it, but it kind kinds of kind of um, makes me a little paranoid because I always know that I have to keep my hands clean. I know that um, if it's raining, if it gets caught in the rain, that Viketa leather can get messed up. But like I said, it you know what? And anyone that has uh, Viketa leather may not feel the same way that I do and that's very understandable but I wanted to come on here and show you my new uh, my new bag and again this is the Kingston um, uh, tote 
and like I said, um, I'm only going to use the strap if I need to or if necessary. And this is how um, how long the strap is that is on here. Now let me see if I can uh, show you how it will look. Now me, my height is 5'2", and I weigh maybe 115, 116. So let me show you if you can see it. So this is how this would look on me. And like I said, it's really comfortable. The, 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 um, the straps are not bothering me at all. I can walk comfortably with my hands like this if I need to. And like I said, if I want to, I can carry this this way and this is how I do carry my person you may hear my grandkids upstairs or either what I do is I carry my handbags like this the majority of the time I do carry my handbags like this and I don't have my handbags um, stuffed either so like I said this is how this would look on me and like I said I am 5'2 and like I said the handles do not bother me in any way whatsoever but like I said because um, it is microfiber on the inside I don't know how you know a lot of you would feel about that um, but me I'm very cautious when I carry my bags it doesn't matter what lining is on the inside I am very very cautious and one thing I do not do is I do not drop pins inside of my bag unless I put them in something because I have had accidents where my pens have leaked out in my purses and you know with these kind of bags right here regardless of what style or type that you have you do not want um, lipsticks uh, ink pens or anything that will risk wasting uh, wasting inside of uh, a bag that you know that costs this much and like I said I like the bottom of it because it has plenty enough room in it for me and it does taper up as it comes up but then as it goes down it widens out but that is it for my video I just wanted to come on here and show you my uh, my new Louis Vuitton handbag and I have another video that is coming up as well and I hope that you enjoyed my video and I hope that I provided enough information on the Kingston tote and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to thumbs up this video and always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do and don't forget to click that bell now for any video uploads or any video notifications again my name is diamond 76 and um, come on and join my family. I will be happy to have you. And if you want to, you can join me on my Instagram channel at Diamond2872. I would love to have you. Um, and I do post on their, um, on my Instagram, like if something comes up, if I, you know, have something that comes in and I don't want to make a video of it, or if I'm out with my family or friends at an event. I would love to have you again thank you for watching my video and if you're an old subscriber I really appreciate you coming back and watching my video and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye